Starting about seven years ago or so, God just introduced Brian Moss into my life. And we just had an instant bond. And I found in Brian, the person I had been praying for, that was an inside leader within the African-American church that could open a door to a whole community of churches that has tremendous wisdom, wealth, resources, and gifts to bring to the global church, but has not had that much opportunity or connection. When Brian went, went with me to Africa, I was just amazed by the instant bonding, the connection, the way that he felt so at home and loved and how quickly they responded to him. And it was such a phenomenal experience that on the trip back, he said, I want to bring all my friends. I want to bring my family. I want the rest of the church that I have been a part of to have this experience with me. When I first went to South Africa, it was absolutely incredible. I got off the plane and it was almost as if I was in a dream. The very first man that I saw, he looked me up and down. And he said, welcome home, son. And I almost came to tears because he could see in me that God had welcomed me home for the first time in my life. And it was a life-changing experience, something I will never forget. It created in me a drive that says, there's gotta be some way that we can build this bridge. And Dr. Rochelle was thinking along the same lines, but I believe that God was at work bringing us together to have a vision to create something that can bring a people back together for Christ's sake and for the glory of God. Going to South Africa was just life-changing for me, literally life-changing. Uh, I learned a lot about myself, uh, where I come from, who I am, uh, and brought that back with me to America, and it just, it, I'm forever changed because of it. Prayerfully, this involvement with ABI will awaken in our church the, the immediate need to become more involved in missions. And I believe through our relationship and through us learning from each other that we can figure out some ways uh, to grow the church in the days to come. My involvement with the Atlantic Bridge Initiative has been a blessing. It's given me an opportunity to serve in the kingdom outside of my local congregation in a way that I probably would have never had the privilege to do before. When I see these African Americans preach in front of a, a packed house in an African church, and there's this instant bonding, the way that they dream together about what they can do, the way they quickly get into really powerful conversations, that, that's one of the, the, the real joys of my life in the last five to 10 years. I'm really grateful that MRN and Dr. Bouchelle saw enough in me as a human being to say this is somebody that we want to partner with. Being a board member on this historical organization is an amazing opportunity because there's a relationship that can be built through our relationship that can diversify and help MRN look more like the kingdom of God. And I think that that will in turn garner God's favor for the work that we are doing at MRN. And I just want to say how much I'm grateful to be a part of what God is doing at MRN.